kind of pull the... Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review of Deception Island by Bryn Kelly. I was sent this book as part of Booktube Tours, which is run by Grace over at Loving Them Books, so I'll leave all the links down below so you guys can check that out. And also, stick around till the end of the video for a fun giveaway for this book. So, without further ado, let me get into my review. Oh my god, that rhymes! <laughs> let us get started! So I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I thought it was super fast paced and super exciting. It's a romance action kind of book. And it follows a man named Raph Angelito who has a 9 year old son named Theo. So when a group of soldiers who call themselves the Lost Boys kidnap Theo, Raph is beyond furious. So in order to get Theo back, Raph is blackmailed into kidnapping Laura Highland who is an American senator's daughter. And this is where ex-con Holly Ryan comes into the story and she is working for the senator and Laura after her 6 year jail sentence. Holly made a deal with the senator to basically impersonate Laura as she sails around the world and so when Raph enters her yacht he doesn't expect this spoiled rich socialite to put up such a fight. Once Raph has officially secured Holly he realizes that they could work together in order to save his son. This book is Bryn Kelly's debut novel and it definitely does not feel like a debut novel at all. It was so well written. It was very fast paced in the beginning and you were instantly pulled in right from the first chapter. There's so much action and there's never a dull moment. I found that it got a little bit slower in the middle once the romance aspect came into it, but it quickly picks up after the middle-ish section of the book and once you're near the end the action starts again which pulls you back in. The book takes place over the span of two or three days which doesn't seem like a lot but it worked really well for this story. Although I found the book plot to be confusing at times, if you paid attention you could follow it but you had to actually pay attention. Like at the beginning it's kind of confusing and you're kind of like what is happening but as you continue to read you understand the story more and it makes a lot more sense. I think that Bryn brings forth a lot of important topics like child slavery or just slavery in general, human trafficking, child abduction. She does it in a very effective way that wasn't extremely hard to read but still gave the information that you wanted to put forth and I think she did a really good job of that. The romance wasn't really my thing. It was very insta-lovey as it does take place in two to three days. So it kind of was just like not my cup of tea, but I think a lot of people would enjoy it. And the sexual tension between the two characters drove me insane because it was so obvious that they just wanted to do it. So just do it, man. Like why are you dancing around each other? Just get it on. Just, just do it, okay? You only got three days together. You might as well just Get it over with, okay? Thank you. Might as well. well, I think the book was definitely emotional and it had some hot steamy scenes thrown in there for good measure. I loved Holly as a main character. She was so badass and she did not take shit from anybody and I just loved her so much. Raph was a total hunk and although he was like kind of terrifying at times because of like stuff that he did in the book, you can't help but have all the feels for him, even though you know he's like kind of scary. You you're like, I love you anyways, okay? You're just, you had a hard time, but now you're adorable, even though you're still terrifying. I still loved him. I would have liked the characters to be like a little more developed, because we don't really get to know that much about them, other than they have like a troubled childhood, and that they're really attractive, which was mentioned like 20 million times in this book. That was also another thing, like, it was just mentioned way too much how attractive they both were. Like, okay, we get it, they're attractive. Stop making me feel bad about myself, okay, thank you. Although neither Raph or Holly were that relatable to me, I still really enjoyed them as characters. Overall, I think that this book was an awesome debut novel and I will definitely, definitely be picking up more work by Bryn Kelly if she ever produces any because I thought it was fun. So, yes, four out of five stars, wonderful. So as I said before, there is a giveaway for this book. I'll leave all the links down below for you guys to get your entries in. And I will see you guys in 
my next video. Goodbye!